Yeah. I had no interest in politics. I didn't really know what it meant to be a Republican or a Democrat or independent. Um, but my brother told me about this opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and be a page, and I was like, that sounds awesome. How can I do that? When I was a junior in high school, I had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. for a semester. I worked, lived, and went to school with 29 other kids just like me from all across the nation. We ran all around the Capitol complex delivering, delivering legislation, picking up packages. As senators would come to the floor to give a speech, we would get them water, we would get their lecterns. One of the most memorable moments um, as being a page was when the late Senator Robert Byrd came onto the floor and he's, he was a very frail man in a wheelchair. He had two attendants with him at all times and I just remember one time I just opened the door for him and he came onto the floor and he voted and he, as he was leaving the floor um, there's a lobby behind the Senate floor. He would always stop and pause and originally it was unusual, you know, why is Senator Byrd just sitting there? But I noticed that he was looking up on the wall, and on the wall there was a portrait of himself, and I thought that was even more strange. Um, but then I noticed that in the portrait, in the background, was a picture of his wife, and she had passed away a few years before. And he was just looking up at this photo of his wife, and I remember seeing a, a tear go down his cheek and it was just, it was really moving to see someone of such great power and such influence and someone who um, you know, took such hard stances on things. And it, um, it was just really moving to see how much that moved him. And actually every single time that he would come onto the floor and vote, he would always pause and just look up at her and just remember her. And I thought that was, that was just really cool. I definitely gained a great appreciation for politics. And not only that, but the whole infrastructure that supports the politicians. Um, there's so much that goes on in the Capitol that I had no idea. Um, there's so many people in so many offices that support this process, all the way from the stenographers and the court reporters um, to the janitors. You know, there's so many people that make this function. And all you see is, you know, the senator on C-SPAN. When I was a page, I had the opportunity to sit in on Barack Obama's first State of the Union address. And um, it was so cool being in the same room as so many, I mean, all the Supreme Court justices, all of the House members, all of the Senate members, you know, the Vice President, the President, I mean, and his cabinet, so many people were in that room. Um, and it was like you could feel it. Everyone was just so excited to be there, and um, it was really cool. It's easy to look over and say, ah, oh, he's not doing a good job, or what kind of crazy person is this? But Politicians are real people, too, and a lot of times we put them up on pedestals and we make them out to be people that they're not, um, but at the end of the day, you know, they still go home to their wife and kids and have a family, and they still care about the things that we care about.